Okay, my friends, I would like to show you how the booster bone scrapers are sharpened, which has to be done to have really good instruments during an implant surgery. And you see, as I told you before, we have two ends here. This is a five millimeter and this is a, a three millimeter end. And this is the stone we are using. The stone can have a, a more a rougher surface or a finer surface. I tell you frankly, I most often use this one just alone. And now you see how the shape is. The shape has a, 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 a such a flat surface and this has to be sharpened. And now you can do it either like this or you can have it like this and you just check where you are parallel to the surface. And that's what I normally do. Also I, I just pull it like this. If you want you can do also with some liquid, that's possible. So, and then you get a very sharp uh, surface, a very sharp surface. If with time you get here a sharp angle, uh, also the, 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 uh, the edges are not round anymore, then of course you can uh, uh, adapt them a little bit. So now how do we use them? Now here is a pork mandible we are using in our surgical workshops of the master courses we do in Bern. This is a pork mandible where we normally place an implant here. Now I show you how to take the bone here from the lingual surface because it's very cortical bone. And what I also do, I put a little bit liquid here because you need, of course, in patients you have is always a little bit of blood. Huh? Hmm? So, and then you see now how we do that. Huh? So you actually are well positioned huh? and you pull. And you see immediately you get fantastic chips with this. Huh? When we started to do bone chips, see, and this was done in the first animal study and published in 1908. Uh, 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 Bob Schenk always said these bone chips, they need to have a small volume but a large surface because uh, growth factors entrapped in the cortical bone are actually the biologic agent to stimulate the formation of bone. And you see that probably how beautiful they are curled. Huh? So this is what you do. In patients then, actually, we take this, when the flap is open, take the bone and put them in a side dish, sterile with some blood of the patient mixed with ringer solution, as a nitrum chloride, because to store them, we know that then these bone chips start to release growth factors rather quickly, TGF beta 1, which is a very important growth factor for the proliferation of these precursor cells. Yeah, that's all I can tell you. It's very simple. Uh, you can resharpen them, you can use these instruments for years. You just need to have three of them in your surgical kit. Thank you.